and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Yes, sir. It's time to rumble again. All right, you're on podcast and chill, the Black Friday edition. My name is Len Moleko, and like we always do on a Friday, we chat to businesses, big or small. You tell us what you do, your services, your products, and yeah, let the world know what you're about, just like what Oscar did. Oscar, welcome to Black Friday, man. Thank you very much, Len. Oscar, you are in a very competitive space. You quite are right, into right. the removals business. True, that's right. Is it fair to call it logistics or maybe not? It, it does fall within the logistics category uh, slash transportation. So it's quite fair to call it under logistics. L and M removals. And the L and M is not for Len Moleko, for the record. De- definitely not. What is the L and M for? <laughs> so the L and M, it's based on the two founders, All Langa, right. myself, and uh, Masengi, the other partner. All right. So we thought of looking for something that will have some generational family legacy behind the brand name. So yes, it definitely doesn't stand for Len, the L. Okay. I was I was trying to put myself in there. Clearly, clearly. <laughs> you, you might be a shareholder at a later stage. <laughs> well, who as, knows? As, as the business expands. Of course, of course. I must look into that. But upon establishing L&M removals, yes. when you sat down and you said, I want to do this, what moved you in that direction? So one of the opportunities that I had identified there, uh, Len, was the time where I personally worked for a professional furniture removal business. Yeah. This was in 2006. And then I realized at a later stage in 2010 in Nels Page that actually there are opportunities. There wasn't a black-owned professional furniture removal company in Nels Page. So I realized that with the experience, the exposure that I had acquired prior, me moving to Nels Page, that it's actually I can venture and see the visibility uh, for that business opportunity. Cool. So... The challenges that you face, because getting into any business space is not easy. True. And especially in a, in a, in a removal space or logistics, like we said that earlier. That is very on, competitive Yeah, as well. you find a lot of players and you come in as a new player. How do you sort of like maneuver yourself to be amongst those that people will call upon when they need that kind of service? Yeah. So from the word go, one of the things that we identified was we needed to have a very solid market uh, segmentation so our target audience we realized that the black middle class and upper yeah. they actually look for a professional service that is not necessarily offered by black owned companies yeah. and then we saw that that would be part of our competitive advantage that would be part of our unique selling proposition that will differentiate ourselves from the norm uh, offering that was available that is currently available it's a white dominated uh, industry. Yeah. Definitely. Very competitive as well. Uh, it's very capital intensive. So, one of the things that I did was to take my own provident fund savings at the time while I was employed as a production manager in a chemical processing plant. And then I invested in the business. But there wasn't enough to sustain the business to an extent that later on, uh, in 2016, that's where I worked on the business plan yeah. to now make the business to be more sellable, to be scalable, and more to be investor-friendly. And then we approached an investor who was able to come on board to inject so that the business could expand. So in the space that you play in, uh, the amount of money that you invest to offer the services that you offer is, 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 is very interesting, actually, because a lot of people, when they look into moving, mm-hmm. it's like, ah, let me find a baggie there and just hold my stuff at the back. True. What, what advantages are there in using a professional remover? Be it you moving office, be it you moving house, what mm-hmm. are the advantages of that space versus just finding a bike there and just hoeing everything at the back? Yeah. So, see, Len, you have invested quite a lot of money buying your valuable items. You don't want to be sitting in a house where after you've moved, there's a dent, there's a big scratch uh, imposed on one of your valuable items. You also want convenience. You yeah. don't want to be phoning around a man in a van, in a buggy, and then at a later stage, one of your items might go missing, your items might be damaged, might be scratched. So we provide that whole convenient service that ensures you that with your presence, with your absence on site, you are able to be rest assured that you will get your items as they were from the loading point to the delivery point. 
And also, you are rest assured of quality. Yeah. I mean, all of us, we want quality service. Yes. So that's one of the things that we strive to provide. And also, you want decency. You want trained, uh, skilled labor that will come through to take and pick up your valuable items up until they reach the destination. One of the things that uh, I think you do as well is uh, you are in the business of storage. So, True. you know, there are those people like you're moving overseas or you're moving town and there are valuables that you don't necessarily want to get rid of. How does the storage part of L&M removals work? So that's part of the convenience that we offer as well, Len, because we've realized that most of our clients, be it private household, be it corporate, they might be maybe downscaling at the time. Yeah. They might be temporarily looking for a storage facility, uh, maybe moving abroad for a period of six months. Yeah. So we offer storage facilities whereby you can be rest assured at any point in time that they are 24-hour secured. Uh, there's CCTV cameras. You can access at any given time, uh, obviously with proper identification. And any point in time when you want to access one or two items, you have that liberty to come through and access your items. So it's part of that 10 key added on yeah. service that you provide because we understand that you know, with clients, they can have various different preferences and requirements at one point in time. All right, cool. So I pick up the phone. I call L&M Removals. Mm -hmm. What do you offer me? Because I want to move house, say, from Santon mm -hmm. to, to Princeton. Or, okay. or to Princeton. Yeah. All right. What do you offer me? What, so you, what can I be rest assured that I'm going to get from L&M Removals? So the first thing that you're going to encounter is customer excellence. The person that you'll be speaking to over the phone is someone who's knowledgeable, who's more product service knowledgeable, who would be able to take down the itinerary or the list of the items that needs to be moved. It's also a consultant that would be able to advise if we have to send one of our consultants to come through to your house at no cost at all yeah. to do a free assessment so that we can then be able to populate a very customized quotation that will meet your needs and also an identification that will be done based on the labor that's going to be required, the protective equipment that's going to be required, and also the vehicle size that's going to be required. Yeah. So that part as well, we offer it free of charge and it's part of the convenience that we sell to the clients. All right. That's, that's, that's very nice. Um, so now I'm moving, uh, but I'm not at home. Okay. Can I be rest assured that everything that needs to be moved will get to the destination that I give to you? So one of the things that we have in place, we have the checks and balances and controls in place, whereby prior the moving, there is an inventory document yeah. whereby we tick every item that is within the loading point. And then after we do a verification on the delivery site, as long as there is that one person who will be on your behalf, yes, based on the fact that you might not necessarily be available, as long as there is a representative who will be on your behalf, ensure that we have access to the place, all right. ensure that also there is a delivery confirmation that the items have been delivered safely as according to what was the service level agreement initially. All right, cool stuff. A lot of people want to move, some from Sentin to Midrand, mm -hmm. some from Midrand to Pretoria, Nelspreit. Do you have any borders as to how far you get in the country? So our footprint currently now, we are national. And we do SADC as well, your yeah. Namibia, your Swaziland, your Botswana, and your Mozambique. Uh, our ultimate goal, obviously, as part of our brand growth strategy, yeah. we would want to tap into the African, the continent space. Yes, yes. But however, we're doing that on a very gradual scale. So I would confidently say that nationally, we have full visibility and within the SADC countries. And then later on, we want to move up to the middle part of Africa and then beyond the borders at a later stage. All right, that's cool. So to all the podcast and chillers who watch this channel, they want to get hold of you because they want to move from Devon to Joburg because they mm -hmm. think Joburg is pumping. <laughs> How do they get hold of you? Okay, so we are present on all social media uh, platforms. We have an Instagram page. It's L&M Removals. We have a Twitter page. It's L&M Removals. We have a Facebook page. It's L&M Removals. We also have our mobile contact number. That is 071-206-8852. 
And then we have our website, that is www.lnmremovals.co.za. All right, cool. Well, you heard it first right here on Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. So uh, while you listen and try to get hold of him, let me see if I can make that L in the L and M <laughs> to be Len. Till I get that sorted out, I'll see you next week Friday. <laughs> Podcast and Chill. Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko.